Okay, so uh, I only wanted to do this for me actually, but I want to upload it online in case someone has the same problems as I do, because I want to do a movie and I want to take the sound with the directional microphone and it shouldn't be too expensive because I don't have the money, but it should also not be as bad as the first one I tried. So I have now gotten two microphones, which is the Rode NTG2 and the Biodynamic MCE86 S2. And I want to try them both out and uh, you can well, watch and see which one you like better if you want to order one of those. I have to say that the Rode is at uh, roughly 200 euros at the moment, whereas the Biodynamic is more like 300 euros. Um, the latter I got a little cheaper, so that's why I'm trying it out anyways. Um, in the beginning I want to try out some more stuff, like for example the camera of my microphone and uh, some other things in comparison that would be just for me probably. So uh, if you want to uh, skip that, you can. I will just uh, tell you later what time to skip to if you only want to see those two microphones in work. Okay, so uh, for the room, this is a really, really bad room for recording audio actually. I would change a lot if I would actually do recording here. But I want to try out some things. Uh, one thing is there's a lot of background noise. There's mostly the heater that is producing some hissing noise. There is also my laptop which is running and uh, should produce some noise. And I think the neon lighting too is doing something. And then there's a lot of plain walls as you can see here. So there's, um, it's a really bad room. There's a lot of uh, sound reflections from the walls actually. And I want to see how that works out with the microphones later. Okay, so uh, let's start or let's skip whatever you want to do. Now, the first thing I want to try is the microphone that comes well. I have the camcorder Canon HFS 10. It's a little older, but it still works fine for me. But uh, the onboard audio, which you heard just now, is not that great. So I decided to try out the microphone that Canon uh, ships with the recorder if you want to. So this is an optional microphone, it also costs 200 euros, so it's pretty expensive. And I did not expect too much of it, because it's like a Canon microphone, and I have never heard Canon in uh, the concern of microphones, so I don't know if they did many of those. But I wanted to try it out, and I was pretty surprised how much better the sound already is. This is of course not for shooting like this, when the camera is far away from the subject, but it might be interesting for some close-up shoots and for, yeah other stuff if you just want a small microphone. It's about that size, so it's really small. On top of the camcorder that fits perfectly into the shoe. It's the only microphone that fits into the shoe. There's no standard shoe applied on this Canon camcorder. That's why I got the Canon microphone. So this is like the sound quality of my DM100. That's the name of this Canon microphone. So the first thing I want to try out if, is if it does make a difference if I power those microphones with the internal battery, which I can do, instead of powering it with um, the 48 volt phantom power. And I want to record this on my Zoom H2, which only has the small 3.5 millimeter plug um, and not an XLR connection. So I have a cable, an adapter cable from the microphone to the Zoom H2. And I want to try out if the quality really suffers from that because I want a recorder in the field and I don't want like in, to invest 400 bucks in another Tascam recorder or whatever. So yeah, this is me trying out the uh, Rode NTG2 with the Zoom H2 recorder. Let's see how that sounds. Now uh, the next obvious try is me and the uh, Biodynamics MCE86 microphone with the exact same setup, so it's the Zoom H2 recorder and the adapter cable and I'm recording on the uh, Biodynamic MCE82. Um, I don't know how that sounds, let's just check it out. Okay, uh, just to be complete, this is a new try because I've just noticed that my H2 was still set on MP3 recording and yeah, perhaps it's a nice idea to see if the MP3 versus the uh, WAF recording makes any difference or if I can actually hear the difference with these microphones. So this is uh, the H2 with the Biodynamics microphone recording in uh, WAF format. And uh, on the other side, of course, this is me recording on the uh, Zoom H2 with the Rode NTG2 microphone. 
uh, also with the plugin, but this time recording in WAV format. Um, probably I'm going to cut out one of those two because it's not really that interesting to see them both. Okay, so this is also quite interesting. It's a really cheap microphone, directional microphone, that I tried out first and that, that I was really, really not satisfied with. It's the T-Bone EM9600. You can have uh, luck or you can have be non-lucky if you buy this microphone because it's really uh, cheap and sometimes it's a good one. Sometimes you just get a bad model. So I got a bad model. There's a lot of background noise in the microphone when I tried, tried it last time. So check out again. This is the uh, T-Bone EM9600 recording on the Zoom H2 again with internal microphone power. Okay, so uh, this is the final interesting test. Uh, the setup is the following. We have um, the two microphones roughly 50 centimeters from my mouth, directly pointed at my mouth. So this is ideal conditions. I mean, it will probably not be not that good later in production, but still, uh, you can at least see it. And I'm recording into my, um, come on, an <laughs> uh, audio fast track uh, sound card with uh, 48 volt power. I took out both the batteries from the microphones. And uh, yes, so hopefully you will hear this. Um, I am now trying the two different microphones and Let's see which one is uh, the most interesting. I'm also uh, well doing a small time where I am uh, recording both microphones on the two different channels, the stereo channels on, on uh, the video. So you can just flip your headphones in between or your boxes and you can try which one suits you better. I will uh, probably write in the description which one was the better one for me in the end, but this is really a matter of taste, so there is no better microphone of these two. They're both in a price range where you can expect very good microphones, and uh, I'm just now voluntarily switching and editing later between those two microphones, and you can just try out which one you like better. I'm uh, now talking at normal voice with the two microphones, and uh, I can lower my voice now a little. Now this is me talking really, really quietly. This is almost whispering, so probably my actors will be told to be a little louder at this point. Um, this is very, very quiet. So actually the heating system in here is now a lot louder than I am. And this is me really whispering. So I'm not producing any sound except for the hissing, whispering noise with my voice. Maybe this is interesting for you too if you have something that does something like this. So yes. Um, for the real audio recordings, like for music and stuff, I have, have other microphones. So I'm only testing speech and voice on these two microphones because it's the one purpose that I'm trying them out for. Um, the connection to my computer is also really easy. This is a USB connection and uh, I'm recording at the moment with a Logic Pro. So yeah, there shouldn't be any loss there. I'm also recording like the highest possible quality with sound cards, which you should always do. I'm just telling you, always record the highest possible quality. You can always downsample later if you don't need it anymore. Um, okay, it might be interesting to know that uh, the packaging in which those microphones comes, it's really the same for both microphones, roughly. The uh, T-Bone EM9600 actually came in a really fancy and nice package. I'm probably gonna use that for uh, the one microphone that I'm later buying of those two because it's really nice to have something to transport it with. Okay, um, I hope this helped. I'm now going outside to test those microphones with a little wind and with a, well, noise of birds that will probably wake up very soon. It's just getting right outside. Okay, um, that is also the reason why I don't have anyone holding the boom pole for me. Usually I'm, I will do this later with a boom pole, but it's really early in the morning. It's before work, I have to do this before work. So there is no one holding the boom pole for me. But I think uh, these two microphone stands will do just fine for now. Okay, so now we are out in the open. I have the two microphones with me. I'm still recording on my M-Audio Fast Track, so not on a portable recorder, but on a computer. Uh, the sound out here is also pretty loud. There's a lot of birds. There's even one woodchuck uh, back there <laughs> knocking wood. and. Uh, there's also some street in the distance. I'm right next to my university building where we've just been in. And um, 
well, yeah, the sun is just coming up. It's really beautiful out here, but uh, yeah, it's not easy to catch good sound in this environment. So I'm trying with the two microphones that I'm testing. This is again the Biodynamic MCE86 um, S2 and the uh, Rode NTG NTG2. They're both very directional microphones and uh, you can probably hear that there's not too much background noise that you can hear now. I'm now switching to the camera microphone to check for you to check what's in the background. Yeah, so this is the internal microphone of the camera and there's probably a lot that you heard going on right now. Um, I'm still checking out those two things. Uh, what else can I talk about? There's... Uh, um, yeah, well... Uh, I am... I will be cutting this later into a small film that you can see online on Vimeo and you can check the two microphones that I'm gonna switch in between all of the time. I'm probably just gonna write on the screen which microphone is currently running so you can, yeah, try something out. I also got a... Uh, road dead cat which I'm gonna try out although I have to say that there's not very much wind outside here it's basically basically still here there's no wind running but I'm gonna get the uh, road dead cat for you all right this is my road dead cat I'm first trying this out on the uh, on uh, the biodynamic microphone so this is with the windscreen on uh, let's see if there's any change in the noise. I don't know. You can probably judge that better by now I'm really excited to decide which microphone to send back and which microphone to keep. Uh, it's also quite a price difference. I have to say um, So this is uh, the windscreen on the other microphone on the road microphone uh, It's getting windier right now. Maybe that's like you can hear that in the microphones, let's see. I don't know yet. So uh, they also ship, each of those microphones ships with an uh, external windshield. Well, it's really these, these uh, small windshields that won't do you any good if there's real wind around. If it's like just a, a light breeze, you can use them probably. It's not a big deal, but for real wind, you will need one of those dead cats. So I'm taking it off again. Okay, uh, what I also have to say that the level that comes out of the um, biodynamic microphone is a little higher. So this is the more expensive microphone and I don't know if the hissing noise might be a little less because of that, but uh, I did not have to pump up the microphone pre-gain as much as for the Rode NTG. I was surprised that there's a lot of pre-gain to get those microphones going. I think, I mean, if you come really close to them, you can probably uh, turn down the microphone pre-gain a little, but in this distance, which is still about 50 centimeters, uh, you have to amplify those microphone signals pretty much. So that is, yeah, that is one thing. So I will level them out later in, in uh, post-production. They are roughly leveled out now, but still I will level them out. And uh, you can just probably hear from the background noise which one has the better signal to noise ratio. You have to figure that out for yourself. Yeah. Okay, um, if you have any more questions about how I recorded this, or if you have any good ideas how to do it better in the future, maybe I'll try another microphone if I have money again. I don't now because I spent all on those two microphones. But uh, if you have any ideas or comments, please uh, tell me. It's no problem. I will gladly answer you. Okay, see you.